what's up, Facebook? So I finally got all the bedding of mine washed. And it literally took $4 to wash my comforter. But it was totally worth it. Because now my sheet's clean, my comforter's clean. Not only is my sheet and my comforter clean, but both my pillowcases are clean. And the bed's made. It looks good. Yeah. Um, I didn't quite catch all the comments on my last live video, but one person suggested that I get this washing machine that I can hook up to my sink. Hello, Brian. Hello, Alex, Ben, Jeff. Hello, Danielle. Um, which that is kind of cool that they have washing machines that you can hook up to your sink. The only, the only problem with that is, is that I got a tiny ass kitchen and that would just take up space. You know, I don't mind paying a couple bucks to wash my shit. What's up, Ben? I do have to be careful when I'm playing guitar on video, though, because the reverb off the amp just overlays and, yeah. Well, no promises, Facebook, but I want to try to score 60 bucks for Halloween so I can at least have a little bit of fun on Halloween's Eve. I do have Halloween off. It's like my favorite holiday. Uh, and, you know, I don't mind celebrating Christmas with my family and shit. The only thing I do not like about Christmas is the fact that people get so goddamn greedy. It's just, it's disgusting, Facebook. I can't even believe I'm talking about that shit and it's not even the holidays yet, but there you go. South Park... <laughs> fucking South Park made fun of Black Friday shopping and they weren't too far from the truth when they made fun of it either. Are they really? It says, ben just told me those kitchen washing machines are only good for like two to three shirts. Yeah, there's that too and you gotta dump it and refill it. It just sounds like a pain in the ass. You know, thank you for the suggestion, though. You know, it's always good to have something like that available. But um, I've noticed that one side of my bangs is growing a lot faster on my widow's peak than the other side. So if I go like this... You know what I'm saying? Like, all of my bangs on one side right here are growing back like they're supposed to, but this other side's taking for fucking ever. And I had a string of bangs that were just way the fuck down here. So what I did was, I cut my bangs to be more even with the side that's growing back in like it's supposed to be. Um, the other side is growing in, but it's taking a lot longer, and I don't know why, but eh, fuck it, hair's hair, you know what I'm saying? I can work with this shit. I still have a full fucking head of hair, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know. The Me Too thing? Um... I can't say I've heard of the Me Too thing. Is it this new political thing or what? A shout out to Tim. Thank you for the support. I would have to agree with you, Tim. I think my hair is looking good too. At least when I went to go shave my widow's peak to try to make devil's horns, it didn't look so good and it didn't turn out the best. But then one side grows back at normal rate, and the other side is a little bit slower. I don't understand it, but fuck it. I've seen goths with half their fucking head shaved. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not tripping out about it. Um, 
You know, I cannot remember the last time I washed my bedding. And the only reason I don't wash it very often is literally it takes $4 worth of quarters to wash. Or it literally takes $5, I should say, to, to wash my comforter on my bed. $1 to wash it in the wash and then like $4 to dry it. And the only reason it, it costs like four fucking dollars to dry is because one is big and two is black, you know. You know, black is supposed to absorb heat. So based off the theory that black absorbs heat, that's not really a theory, that's just science. Oh, homeboy Scotty's doing good. What do I think of Kid Rock? Uh, he's all right. He makes decent music. He's better than One Direction, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Although being better than One Direction is not really a challenge, now is it? <coughs> you know something, Facebook? When One Direction compared themselves to the Beatles, I wanted to smack each and every one of them across the fucking head because the Beatles got caught smoking their weed and doing acid and all kinds of stuff, and they just said so. You know, One Direction gets caught smoking weed. They made a video joking about it, smoking this huge ass fucking joint, laughing about it hysterically. And as soon as they got, of course, they got caught when you post a video like that on the internet. And as soon as One Direction gets caught smoking pot, they apologize for it. Real musicians do not apologize for their drug use, if you can even consider marijuana to be a drug. The only thing that One Direction had in common with the Beatles was, at one point, chicks were crazy about them. But the difference between the Beatles and One Direction, the Beatles actually made decent music. One Direction just sucks. And the kicker of it is, bands like One Direction don't last very long because they're trendy boy bands. As soon as something else comes along, they're old news. Hello, Brittany. What's cracking? And that's just the thing of it. That's the kicker of it, too. Is you, apparently, black only absorbs heat through the sun. You think that because black is super absorbent of the sun's heat, you think it'll dry faster in the dryer. Au contraire. Um, I have not heard that song by Ozzy, but I bet you it's badass. Any song by Ozzy Osbourne is badass. My point being, Facebook, is when One Direction compared themselves to the fucking Beatles, I wanted to puke. I'm like, for one, I can actually sing like the Beatles, okay? I can actually sing like the Beatles. I may not have the female fan base that they once had. But there you go. Oh, you can't sing like the Beatles. You're just talking out your Asperger's. Oh, you think I'm talking out my Asperger's. Okay, um... I agree with you on that, Tim. Thank you for noticing. Tim... Stockton said, Josh, your music is 10 times better than One Direction's will ever be, right? Oh, you want me to, you want to, want me to prove that I can sing like the Beatles? All right, I shall do that. I'm going to grab my phone real quick. <clears throat> now, the song... I'm going to sing by the Beatles is called Let It Be by the Beatles. <clears throat> and the nice thing about having headphones is I can sing a song through YouTube and not get copyright infringement strike. Yeah. All right. Fuck that, Brittany. I'm not singing One Direction.
because I don't want to fucking torture my ears like that. If I, if I had a fucking choice between listening to One Direction or Nails on a fucking chalkboard, I think I would rather listen to Nails on a fucking chalkboard just straight. Because Nails on a chalkboard has more musical talent than One Direction. Straight burn. Okay, where the fuck's my pipe tobacco? Oh, man, I'm running out of pipe tobacco. I'll probably have enough pipe tobacco to get me through for, like, maybe two more days. But that's one of the reasons why I want to try to get a hold of some money, because... Just to avoid digging out of ashtrays, you know what I'm saying? That That's not a good look. Like, people see you digging out of ashtrays, and they're like, man, this dude, you know... I'm like... Ten bucks can get me a decent amount of pipe tobacco. But just because I, I just got over being sick, you know what I'm saying? And when you're sick, you know, whatever you have sticks. Like if you're in bed sleeping most of the time when you're sick, all that bacteria from your sickness is going to stick into your sheets. And the only way to get rid of it is to literally wash your sheets and your comforter and your pillowcases and what have you in the laundry. The sickness doesn't stick behind it. And the cool thing too is the sickness, when you wash it out of your, when you wash the, the bacteria from your cold or whatever out of your sheets, it doesn't stay behind in the washer and dryer. You know what I'm saying? It pretty much just infects and kills it. At least now if chicks come over, you know. Pretty much every chick, every chick that's come over to my apartment and sat on my bed has said this. Damn, your bed's really comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got some fresh pipe tobacco. Let's see. This this is this is the song, but they don't have lyrics with it, so I'll just sing along. I want to sing a Beatles song for Facebook. Yeah, just because I can. Beats being out of cigarettes, I'll tell you that much right now. <clears throat> Oop, wrong video. This one. Oh, there's a Google Duel ad. Fuck your Google Duel ad. <clears throat> this is going to be the only vocal cover I do for this video because I don't want to be stuck here for hours on end singing, you know. I find myself in times of trouble. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. In my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be. Let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Know the broken hearted people living in a world of grief. There will be an answer, let it be. No, they may be parted. There's still a chance that they will see. There will be an answer. Let it be. 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 
whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. 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 There will be an answer. Let it be. Also, I want to give a shout out to Daniel to Daniel Jones. Nice long ass musical break. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Don't want to lose this now. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. There will be answer, let it be. I find myself in times of trouble. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. In the hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be. The words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Let it be. There will be answer, let it be. Um, honestly, Brittany, I don't know. I think Andrew Moore was somebody that the trolls created to start a fight with me or with some other person. I don't know. I don't even know who the fuck Andrew Moore is. Let's see. Uh... What would you do if I sang Hound Dog by Elvis Presley? I mean, my ability to sing is, eh, you know, I, I think I do a decent job at singing. You know, that, that is a good question, Brittany. I really do not know who Andrew Moore is. People are weird. But yeah, I'm going to sing Hound Dog by Elvis Presley for Facebook right quick. Let's see. I, I think I did a pretty good job matching the Beatles' voice. Yeah, could be, for all I know. Hmm. <clears throat> you ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Oh, fuck me. I got a low battery. God damn it. You ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. I gotta stop the song just for a second so I can plug in my phone. That's kind of inconvenient as fuck, but what are you gonna do? You're plugging your goddamn phone. That's what you're gonna do. All right.
Because I can't sing Let It Be by The Beatles without doing Hound Dog by Elvis Presley. If you're going to do classic rock, you got to, you know what I'm saying, you got to shake it up a bit, man. Here we go. Said you was high class. That was just a lie. They said you was high class. Oh, that was just a lie. Hey, you ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't nothing but a hound dog uh, crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog uh, crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. I sound just like Elvis, but a little bit raspy. <laughs> you said you was high class. That was just a lie. They said you was high class. That was just a lie. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. Makes you want to slick back your hair and pop your leather jacket collar and be like, hey. He said you was high class. Oh, that was just a lie. He said he said you was high class. Oh, that was just a lie. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Uh, crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. Oh, God damn it. I heard my voice crack a couple times. Fuck. I hate hearing my voice crack on covers. That shit just, mm, mm, mm. No. No. <clears throat> that makes me want to make up for it. When I hear my voice crack on a song, I'm just like, nah, nah, nah. <clears throat> what would you do if I sang Simple Man by Shine Down live on Facebook? It, which is a song that's been remade or remixed, I should say, the original artist who sang that song. Or musicians, I should say, was Leonard Skinner. But Skip the ad. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Mama told me when I was young, sit beside me, my only son. Listen closely to what I say. And if you do this, it'll help you some sunny day. Oh, yeah, it will. I'm going to press these headphones into my ears so I can hear it better. Yeah. Take your time. Don't live too fast. Troubles will come. 
And they will pass Find a woman And you'll find love And don't forget that There is someone Up above and below And be a simple Kind of man Who wants something Baby, be a simple kind of man. Won't you do this for me, son? If you can, if you can. Okay, I know my singing sucks, but it's not that bad. God damn, I'm getting a lot of fucking sad reacts. Of lust for the rich man's gold, all that you need now is in your soul. You can do this, oh baby, if you try. All that I want from you, my son, is to be satisfied and be a simple kind of man. Be a something you love and understand. Maybe be a simple kind of man. Won't you do this for me, son? If you can, if you can. Don't you worry. You find yourself full of your heart and nothing else. You can do this, oh baby, if you try. All that I want from you, my son, is to be satisfied and be a simple. Be a something you love and understand. Baby, be a simple man of man. I want you to do this for my son. If we can, baby, be a simple. Be a simple man. Who oh, wants you to do this for me, son? If, if you can. Well, that was only three songs, and four is my lucky number, so god damn it. Let's do one more song, just because four is my favorite number. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. There's so many good songs to choose from. Now, I'm trying to remember the name of that one fucking band that sings the song. I can't remember the name of the song, but there's a little section in that song. And, um, fuck, how's that section go again? Hmm.
Hmm. Don't you hate when that fucking happens? You're trying to think of the name of a song and you forget the name of it and who the fuck sings it. It's like, oh, God damn it. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I got your number saved in my phone, Mildred, just so you know. I'll give you a call like sometime tomorrow. <clears throat> Notice that Mildred joined the chat. Oh, thank you. I like this shirt, too. Very festive. Ha ha ha. Oh, shit. What's the name of that one fucking song? <sighs> oh, yeah, I know. There's like a little section in the song that goes... You know that one song... You know the one I'm thinking of. There's a, there's a little section in that song where it goes, Whoa! Who the fuck sings that? Whoa! I forget. Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. There's so many good songs to fucking choose from, and it's like, uh, which one, man? Which one? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Look through here and see what YouTube has. How about Paradise City by Guns N' Roses? <laughs> I want to sing Paradise City by Guns N' Roses. My weekend? I'll get to that here in a second. But, uh... I'm going to do one more song for Facebook, so we got an even four. 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 <laughs> I'd say it went from the Beatles to Elvis to Shine Down to Guns N' Roses. It's quite the variety. People can hate all they want to, man. Negative reacts don't bother me. I 
We go to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Hey, won't you please take me home? Down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? No, I can't. I can't do this song, man. That I ruined those fast parts. That was just shit. God. Damn it. Well, that's not going to be the fourth song because I just ruined that. That was just horrible. Fucking horrible. <clears throat> okay, how about Numb by Linkin Park? Featuring the legendary Chesters. Yeah. Fuck suicide. Go to my iTunes collection right here. Tired of being what you want me to be Feeling so faithless It's under the surface Don't know what you're expecting of me But under the pressure Of walking in your shoes Caught the undertone, just caught the undertone Every step that I take is another mistake to you just Caught the undertone, just caught the undertone I've become so numb, I can feel you there. I've become so tired, so much more. I'm becoming mess. I want to do is be more like me and be less like you. Can't you see that you're smothering me, holding too tightly? I'm afraid you lose control. Everything that you thought I would be is falling apart right in front of you. It's caught in the undertone, it's caught in the undertone. Every step that I take is another mistake to you. Every step that I waste is more than I can take. I've become so 
numb. I can feel you. I become so tired, so much more. I'm becoming this. All I want to do is be more like me and be less like you. And I know I never feel you. And I know you were just like me. So numb, I can feel you there. I become so tired, so much more work. I becoming this. I want to do is be more like me and me less like you. I become so numb, I can feel you there. Time, would you want me to be? I've become so now, I can feel you that I've become only to be. Okay, not, not my best cover of that song, but. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let that phone charge up. Okay, now I know my singing's not the greatest in the world, but goddamn, dude, I'm getting a lot of sad and angry re reacts. Uh, actually, I'm never going to stop singing until the day I die. Fuck your comment. I can very easily unfriend and block people if that's how it has to be. I'll stop singing for this video because my voice is a little bit tired, yes, but I'm never going to stop singing. I'm a damn good musician. Fuck all the haters talking shit. <sighs> my weekend. Uh, pretty straightforward, you know, working, getting some groceries, doing some laundry, same shit, different day. And I wasn't able to do a cooking video for a long ass time just because I didn't really have shit to cook, you know, like. You know. But um, tomorrow, before I go to work and shit, I'll be doing a, uh, a cooking video. We're doing a new burger recipe. What else do I like to sing? I sing a variety of rock and metal, mostly. Um, I can also sing Evanescence, Epica, you know. But um, I am capable of singing Storm of Sorrow by Epica. But goddamn, you want to talk about pushing your fucking vocals, man. Whew. I mean, I've seen in Def Leppard and Scorpions many a times. And even they don't hit those high notes like Epica does. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not going to do that right now on Facebook because, you know, after four songs, my, you know... My voice is a little tired and I don't want to overdo it and you know, I don't want to be sitting here. I did four songs for Facebook, you know, and that should be my fucking limit. You know, <laughs> when I'm doing vocal covers on YouTube, that should be my limit, like four song limit, unless I mess up on a couple of them and I gotta do a couple more to make up for it. You know, it's just how it is, but <laughs> four, four. Yeah. I mean, the burger's not going to take me that long to make. Because I could grill the burger on my stove, but I've discovered that you can cook your burger patties in the microwave all the way through. Yeah. And they taste just the same as if you were to, if you were to grill them, if you were to grill them on your stove, it tastes just the same. 
The only difference is it's quicker, so much quicker. You know what I'm saying? But the spicy sea burger is what it's called. And it's going to have some interesting ingredients on it. It's definitely going to be a King Cobra burger. <laughs> um, two of the ingredients that I am going to feature on my new burger, Swamp Adelic Hot Sauce and Spicy Pork Grinds. No bullshit. Spicy Pork Grinds? Oh, yeah. One second. Yeah, buddy. Spicy pork grinds. Ooh. There's this brand of spicy pork grinds that has a picture of a little flame on the front, and that little flame has a face on it. Those are good pork grinds. I couldn't find those when I was grocery shopping, so I got these instead. As you can see, I've already had some. I don't need that many pork grinds for my burger, but... Mm. Yeah, buddy. Mmm. <sighs> Spicy pork grinds are so delicious. But you know what I'm going to do, Facebook? I'm going to amp this shit up. One second. You know what would make this pork rind even more spicier? This stuff right here. Primo's peppers. Mm -mm -mm. Primo's peppers. Swampadelic hot sauce. Mind-blowing swamp heat. Spicier than the devil's pecker. This right here, people, this is some mean hot sauce. This hot sauce, you cannot buy it in stores. If you want some of this delicious hot sauce, you have to order it online from www.primospeppers.com. Oh, yeah, Swampadelic is delicious. <clears throat> once, you've developed, once you've developed somewhat of an immunity to this shit, like, it took me a little bit to get used to Swampadelic, but once I got used to it, I actually enjoyed the flavor a lot. Um, once you've gotten used to, once you've gotten used to Swampadelic hot sauce, like, these spicy pork grinds ain't shit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a, a spicy pork grind. I'm going to pour some Swampadelic hot sauce on it, and I'm going to eat it live on Facebook. Because these spicy pork grinds aren't spicy enough. <coughs> oh, man. Oh. <sighs> Just smelling it clears out your sinuses. If the slogan for Swampadelic hot sauce is spicier than... Spicier than the devil's pecker. I mean, you think habaneros are hot. Habaneros ain't shit, man. Yeah, habaneros are pretty fucking spicy, but a swampadelic is definitely a ten times spicier than a habanero. I'm going to pour a little bit into my cap here and then pour that. 
on to here. Oh yeah, just like that. Look at all that swamp. Oh, God damn that hot sauce. It's good, but fuck, that is spicy. <coughs> That's likely to leave your tongue numb for at least 30 minutes. I'm going to put this back in the fridge. Yes, you could. You could put a little bit of swamp with like and chili, but Ugh. I should warn you that a little bit of swamp goes a long way. Oh, thanks. I like my shirt, too. Very festive. Oh, man. After eating that pork grind with the swamp of Delic on it, you, know, you start eating these one after another. That really kicks up the heat. God, yeah. Mm. My thoughts on pork rinds, they're delicious. Not exactly nutritious, but who gives a shit? A little bit left to snack on, but most of these are going to be for the burger. There's, there's like a, there's like a couple big pieces I could use for my burger tomorrow. Mm. I left just enough mm. yes tomorrow I'll be doing a cooking video for YouTube and the spicy sea burger will be on YouTube mm. all right just enough pork grinds left for the burger <laughs> Holy shit. My sinuses are so clear. Me and soda, man. I love soda pop. Man, I could sit there. I could sit here and burn through an entire fucking 24 pack in one sitting. That's just not healthy.
Mm. This is a mountain lightning. Tastes just like Mountain Dew. Only it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah. There is absolutely nothing wrong with genetic soda because uh, soda soda after all. Mm. <clears throat> oh man, sugary carbonation on your tongue after you've just eaten some swampadelic. I mean, it cools it off a little bit, but then it also intensifies it. <sighs> mm. <sighs> Do a can crush for all my fans. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. And of course, you can always reuse your two liters as water bottles. Oh yes, I've had Fago before. Fago soda is delicious. Oh yeah, just the other night I had cotton candy flavored Fago soda and it was pretty good. Tobacco up a bit. Huh. I wonder if animation domination is out yet online. My thoughts on Insane Clown Posse. Well, I kind of feel like they sold out, you know, because originally they were about being keeping it twisted, you know. And then now they're fighting with the one people, the one group of people that was with them since the beginning, damn near, you know? The fact that ICP is feuding with Twisted, it just, it feels like a fucking publicity stunt, to be honest. And what really pisses me off is that ICP is basically like saying, okay, you either side with us because if you side with Twisted, you ain't a real juggalo. And that's kind of bullshit to, uh, that's kind of bullshit to, like, make your own fucking fans choose like that. Like, that is complete bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And another thing. ICP was on Howard Stern with Sharon Osbourne because apparently Sharon Osbourne, Ozzy's wife, had at one point was managing ICP and a bunch of other musicians. And apparently ICP canceled like the last couple of dates on their tour because of some minor issues with one of the bands they were touring with. And when they were on Howard Stern with Sharon Osbourne, they just were talking a bunch of mad shit, you know. And basically, this is, hey, I like Howard Stern. Fuck your comment. Howard Stern's cool shit. And right after, right after they were on, right after the interview with, with Howard Stern, 
you know, Sharon Osborne and ICP were fighting, and some of the things that ICP was saying made me lose a lot of respect for them, to be honest. You know, the issue was between Sharon and ICP, and ICP basically started talking shit about Ozzy Osbourne, and that's when I was like, fuck these assholes, man. Straight up talking shit about Ozzy Osbourne to Sharon's face on Howard Stern. And, and I wanted to hop into the video and be like, fuck you, ICP. Ozzy Osbourne's done more drugs than you'll, you two have ever done in your entire miserable fucking lives and survived. Not only that, but he's been in the music scene a lot longer than you have. And actually has a lot, probably has a, a lot more fans than you do right now. And on top of that, Ozzy Osbourne doesn't have to fucking feud with other bandmates to get noticed and to get publicity. That's what, that's what his music's for. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm a bigger fan of Ozzy Osbourne than I am of ICP, to be honest. And the fact that ICP is trying to produce Christian rap, that just makes me fucking laugh. How the fuck is that going to work out? Yo, my homie got capped, put holes in his fucking stomach, but no worse than the holes in Jesus' hands. Yo, I don't fucking know how that's going to work, dude. But ICP basically said, oh, we're the most hated band in the world, so fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, ICP is talking, like, they were, when, they, when they were on the Howard Stern show, bef before they were talking with Sharon, you know, ICP basically said, you know, everybody fucking hates us. We're already the most hated band in the world, so fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, dude, at some point you have to realize that trying your hardest to be the most hated band in the world, eventually you're going to lose fans. And when you lose fans, you're going to lose record sales. And when you lose record sales, you're going to be losing that money. You're going to be losing that fucking money. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the truth of it. And, you know, when I went to the ICP concert, I had a fun time. I would have had a lot more fun if I would have actually stuck around with the crowd I came with, you know. But I still had a good time. You know, ICP put on a, a decent show, you know. Homeboy Scotty got to go up on stage with ICP and shit. And, you know, Scotty's a bigger ICP uh, Scotty is a bigger ICP fan than I am, and that kind of made his, his life, I would have to say. That was, you know, a pretty cool highlight, you know what I'm saying? So, just goes to show you how awesome my fans are, sending me ICP tickets and shit. <coughs> <coughs> but personally, if I was... <clears throat> Personally, though, Facebook, I'll get to that in a minute, Jacob. One last thing. Uh, personally, if personally, if Sharon Osbourne was managing me as a musician, and if I was having issues with another band, I wouldn't cancel the rest of my fucking tour. Fuck that shit. I would finish my tour like I was supposed to because I don't want my fans and my manager to be like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And after I finished my tour, I would then bring it up with my manager about the issue that I'm having with the other band and then resolve it like mature adults. You know what I'm saying, Facebook? I believe it, Jacob. I believe it. Jacob also asks the question, how's it been with the ladies recently? How the fuck do you think? I'm still single, aren't I? <laughs> and not by choice, mind you, just shitty fucking circumstances. 
And that's the kicker of it. I get told by people, oh, you're so good looking, Josh. You're so good looking. You're so good looking. You're a handsome dude, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if I'm so goddamn handsome, then why is it so goddamn hard for me to get a girlfriend? Or at least a little bit of pussy every now and then. Shit. Fuck Tinder and fuck online dating. I've had, I had a bad experience with online dating. And, um, yeah. This uh, chick never showed up like she said she was going to. And then... You know, Jacob, and that's the thing of it. That's that's what blows my fucking mind. Is I've seen some ugly ass dudes with some smoking hot chicks, and it's like, how in the fuck? It completely defies the status quo. And then I realize, oh, I know what the problem is. I don't have any confidence in myself, and I'm creepy as shit. So you know, hey, if I had a even if I had a little bit more confidence in myself, I, I would still struggle with the girlfriend department. And that's because of my Asperger's. I hate, I'm not using that as an excuse. I'm just saying people with Asperger's syndrome struggle in social situations. And trying to get a girlfriend is what you would call, is definitely what you would call a social situation. And I just, I feel out of place, you know, I feel out of place when I'm in a social situation, you know. I, I hate being in large crowds of people, you know. Eh. I know how to speak to women, too. I just, I know that, like, 99% of the time I'm wasting my time. You know, right now I'm not focused on dating. Right now I'm more focused on doing what I do, doing me, you know, no, not anything dirty like that. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm I'm not worried about dating right now. If the right girl comes along, it'll happen. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Oh, well, dude, you know what I'm saying? Like... Every girl I've crushed on has told me no, and I cannot begin to tell you how frustrating that is. You know, you get your hopes up. You think, uh, maybe she'll be different. Maybe she won't be like the others. Nope, every fucking time. That's a, I appreciate the... the, the, the blah, blah. I appreciate the thought, Katie, but, like, I'm pretty much done with dating for the most part. Like, this close, man, this fucking close. Like, no bullshit. Next month will be my one-year anniversary without having sex. And when you go one whole year without having sex and craving pussy almost every other day and you can't do shit about it it's so fucking sexually frustrating and at some point you learn just to not give a shit anymore you know and the reason why i'm i'm not dating right now is because uh, you know the reason why, the reason why i'm not putting myself out there is because I'm not in a hurry to get told no anytime soon because, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. It almost feels like people with autism like myself aren't allowed to have intimate relationships because of our, because of my social struggles. Like there's some unwritten law that says, oh, you can't be happy with companionship because you're a social awkward fuck. Uh, I'm kind of crushing on this girl, kind of not anyways, but, but I'm kind of wasting my time with that because she's already got a boyfriend. Ha! <laughs> Jacob told a joke, everybody. 
someone for everyone. <laughs> oh. Right now, I'm slowly getting over, slowly getting over the crush that I just had recently. You know, I mean, we talk to each other whenever we see each other, you know, me and this chick, you know, but we tell each other jokes and try to make each other laugh, but that's as far as it goes, you know. At least she fucking talks to me. At least she's not creeped out by me. No shit. No shit, Gabby. No shit. That's why I don't that's why I don't obsess over my crushes anymore if I can help it. I had a real bad problem with that in high school. And unfortunately when you have Asperger's syndrome and you like something, you become fixated with it. And unfortunately that also includes crushes on women. Um, I would disagree, Charlotte. Um, I would disagree with that, Katie. I think if I met a girl with Asperger's, it would be annoying as fuck. It'd be like, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know. That'd be kind of weird. You know, like, could I date a girl with Asperger's? That's a yes and no. I mean, I could if, you know, uh, but would I want to? Pff, I don't know. Yeah. And there's just some days where I feel like I don't need companionship, you know? It's almost an asexual, like, approach to dating, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some days where I wake up and I'm like, no, I don't need companionship in my life to be happy. I, I got multiple sources for that. Uh, oh, that's the question I'd ask you, Katie. Could you date someone exactly like you? They had the same exact problems you did, you know? Well, thanks, Charlotte. Have a good night and an awesome day at work tomorrow or today depending on how you look at it. Thanks for tuning in to uh, my Facebook Live video. You know, Amanda, you know, Amanda, that's what people keep saying. If it's meant to happen, it'll happen. Uh, but I'm starting to think it's not gonna happen. And part of me hates the idea, and part of me is okay with it. You know, I want to change the subject because this is depressing me. What to talk about? What to talk about? Oh, the fucking weather. Yeah, it's getting colder, isn't it? Slowly but surely. Unusually warm weather for October. <clears throat> oh. Well, thank you, Katie. Getting a lot of positive comments here. God damn it, an hour-long video? How the fuck did that happen? No, seriously, how the fuck did I manage to make an hour-long video on Facebook? <sighs> oh. 
Well, I don't really harp on about it. And I don't really, to be honest, I don't think there is a woman interested in me right now. And I can't say that I blame them, you know. I don't really have a whole lot of interesting things about me, to be honest. Like, I mean, yeah, I play guitar and I practice my own branch of magic and shit, but, you know, for the most part, that's not very interesting. <laughs> oh my God, Gabby, you're going to make me piss my pants from laughing so hard. I know you'll find someone, though. <laughs> Um, to answer your question, Kyle, no, I'm not banned from YouTube. I just, I haven't been in the mood to make YouTube videos lately because, quite honestly, YouTube's kind of pissing me off. Have I seen any good movies lately? Nope, I don't get out much. I'm kind of a hermit, to be honest. I wouldn't mind seeing the new Saw movie, but eh, I'll probably see it when it comes out on DVD or some shit. Uh, this bullshit. Thank you, Gabby.
I'll tell you one thing though. Playing guitar is definitely a great way to take your mind off of things. And the only reason the only reason I'm not playing the electric guitar right now is because it's like 1.14 in the morning. I mean if you're gonna play guitar like 1.14 in the morning, at least the acoustics quiet. C chords don't really work. advantage to being single though is I can focus more on my guitar playing. <laughs>
Hey, the Halloween theme song. That sounds badass on the acoustic. scale higher. Mm. It looks like it's gonna be the highest scale I can do on the acoustic here. Eh?
Look at that, Star Wars on the acoustic. Ooh. That's how you shred an acoustic guitar. I mean, it sounds way different than the electric, but you you can still pretty much quote unquote rip it on the guitar with an acoustic if if you know what you're doing. The thing about an acoustic guitar is you have to be extremely accurate with your picking, otherwise it's gonna sound like shit. Go for a Randy Rhodes live version. Fucking acoustic guitars, man. They have what you would call their own sort of unique sound. Yes. Well. You can definitely expect a brand new uh, cooking video in the next couple of hours or so. Um, that spicy sea burger should be interesting. Some people are going to look at it and go, that burger looks nasty. Why the fuck would I want to eat that? And then, why the fuck would you want to watch the video then? I never understood people who leave negative comments on videos. It's like if you don't like the person's videos, then why the fuck are you watching them? In all sincerity, Facebook, think about that. You don't like someone's videos, so you're going to obsessively leave negative and nasty, hateful comments on every video that person makes. It's like you don't like that person's videos, yet you can't stop watching. Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? Now, I get a slew of stupid comments on Facebook every now and then. 
and I get an even bigger slew of stupid comments on YouTube. You know, I'll, I'll post a picture of a random cool car or a picture of a cool ass looking house. I don't caption it, just a random cool picture. And it's like, people will leave comments like, oh, is this your car? Is this your house? And I'm like, no. Did I say it was in the photo? Oh, I didn't? Well, shit. But anyways, fucking damn near two hours long with this bullshit. Earlier in the chat, somebody asked me, you know, they basically suggested, what about dating a girl who has Asperger's? And I might be able to do it, but I don't know. I can't speak for the other half. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, anyways, I'll leave you with it. Thanks for che checking in and watching.